us all the time with books, with media projects. And it's usually on the back end of a project that they come to us. And they basically just want the Chalk Donation to sign off on it and say, hey, good to go. We give it our full support. Marvel did something that was a lot better and a lot unique is they came to us and said, hey, we want to create something special with you, but we want you in throughout the whole process. They said, we want to tell a story, but it's your story, and we want you to tell it alongside us. Our day job is sharing the culture, but this will put our culture on a scale unlike anything that's ever been done. We want to be 100% accurate, but also understand that you're in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where the Hulk exists, where Thor exists. And so once we started looking at it creatively, we felt like, oh, th this could be a lot of fun as long as we offer opportunities for people to learn the real history, the real myths, and the real stories. And Marvel was such a great partner on this. Take our creation story, for example. There's certain parts of that story that we never want shown, that we never want shared except internally. And so we, we worked around those things. But what we really hope is that at the end of the day, somebody will say, oh, I, I'd like to know more about that creation story. I'd like to know more about that. And we have so many resources available within cultural services uh, to tell the story and to share it accurately and, and all those pieces. But Marvel was such a great partner in doing that, as well as the community uh, in, in making us feel comfortable that we were telling the story in an accurate and authentic way. You know, it's interesting, we're the third largest tribe in the US and majority of our tribe does not live within the reservation, uh, maybe not even within Oklahoma. They're scattered throughout the world. And one of the things we always talk about is how can we share our culture with everyone? Truth, a lot of times, is more interesting than fiction. When we sat down and we started working with the writers and we told them the stories and we told them about our, our history and stickball, our creation story, our language, our food, our dances, what we did is we, we gave them a framework and then they are world class at what they do and we let them do their thing and they, uh, they came back with something really incredible. So it was a fantastic partnership and a, probably, a, hopefully, um, you know, the, the community will, will see it as a way to share something that is so sacred and special to us and that's who we are as Choctaw people. And I still remember, I, I think one of the greatest things about working with Marvel is the sets. The, the size and scale of the sets, it, it's difficult to even wrap your head around them. We came over a hill and they had literally created an entire village. Uh, I mean, it, hundreds of people on set, uh, stickball field, everything 100% authentic to what we had asked them to have. And they, they brought us in before the shooting and just said, hey, anything here that needs to change, we'll change it. You can't just ask an actor to pick up a set of sticks and look like they know how to play stickball. It's, it's an extremely difficult game. So Marvel came to us and said, okay, how do we fix this? And we said, let's get real stickball players. We brought in uh, dozens and dozens of real stickball players. And for two days, out in the heat, out in the sun, uh, shot real stickball taking place. And, and you'll be able to see in the episodes how authentic some of those scenes look. Now there's the choreographed ones, which we worked with their stunt team and stunt doubles and everything. Uh, but what our guys all said is, let us play. Here we go. Ready, and action! I think the stickball scene for me was the one where that was so true and it brought it to life so much. And to see something that our ancestors played for centuries uh, now be uh, authentically shown on this type of scale, it's, it's very exciting for us. These large media companies, these large media outlets, choosing to work with indigenous tribes and an authentic indigenous representation to tell these stories, I promise you the stories are going to be so much better if you do that. And I think Marvel is seeing that. I think other companies are starting to see that. I think the big thing that I hope comes out of this is learning to work with tribes and indigenous populations. And if Marvel can do it, anybody can do it. The stories that, that you'll see, I think it'll give natives and non-natives uh, a curiosity about Choctaw culture in particular and in general, I think, indigenous culture. You know, we started about 10 years ago uh, dreaming about the Choctaw Cultural Center. 
And today you have a $75 million, 100,000 square foot facility that takes you through the Chattanooga Aya or the Choctaw journey. 14,000 years of history, uh, all the way from Bosto, Moundville, all the way to modern day Oklahoma. It tells our story. So we'd love to have anybody and everybody come visit the Choctaw Cultural Center right here in Durant, Oklahoma, right in the heart of the Choctaw Nation and uh, learn more about what it means to be Choctaw.